Hey guys, welcome back to Resin Bell. Today we are going to open all of the Miniverse Halloween 2024 edition capsules, including the rare Beetlejuice capsule, which I'm super excited about. And we're going to do a huge remix with the Beetlejuice one, so stay tuned for that. Hit that like button and that subscribe button, and let's get started. Okay, so here we have the rare Beetlejuice ball. I just wanted to show you what each one looks like before I open all the packages. This is the Dirt Cups, comes with the two spider web goblets, and it has the purple checkered table. And then we have our little um, punch skull glasses ones, and it comes with the white swirly table. And then we have our cake, which comes with the green table with the black stripes on it. And I'm going to go ahead and open these up and then we'll get started making. Okay, so the first one we're going to create is the dirt cups. And this is what it looks like. It's a really cute little design with the little tombstones and the layers of the dirt and the, like the little shovels are super cute. Um, and then the little gummy worms super cute set and then this is what it looks like instructions okay and then those are all of the ones in the set which we have and we'll be going over um, one little thing I will uh, tell you is that the little topper that they have for the um, capsules this year is the little ghost and it glows in the dark uh, but I thought that was a really cute little thing. So we're going to be making something with that here in just a little while. All right, so we've got our two adorable little cups, little spiderweb cups. These are very, like, nostalgic Halloween to me. Um, they always, like, had those little plastic cups with the, you know, the fake blood and all that, the vampire stuff. <laughs> um, so anyway, we've got the chocolate pound cake and we've also got the creamy milk chocolate uh, resin. Um, so the first thing I think we're supposed to do is put the pound cake in first. So a little bit of uh, cake, then resin, cake, then resin, cake, and then we put our stuff on top. All right. Okay, now then, now we're gonna be ready here, and I have to say that the little pound cake is just the cutest thing. It looks like like a frozen pound cake, like you'd buy at the store, you know. Uh, love that they did the little container in silver, and the uh, the label is just freaking adorable. Uh, so let's get our little tweezers out and drop them on the floor. Retrieved. <laughs> All right, so this is a kinetic sand. It really, they did a good job on this. They just really did. So I'm gonna put a little bit down in there and a little bit down in there. Pack it down to make a nice layer. I really want to see my layers and I want to be careful about making the layers too big because that could cause, uh, make it difficult to get enough layers in there. So just a little bit. So how are you guys liking the uh, Halloween stuff this year? I, when the, they came out with the Halloween last year, I was just like, oh my gosh, because I have just like this super affinity for Halloween. I'm an October baby, so um, I absolutely love Halloween. I always have. And um, when they came out with the Halloween capsules last year, that was like, I had done like one mini verse before those came out or maybe two. Um, and when they came out, that was what really sparked my super interest in mini verse. <laughs> and I was like super excited. Um, and I loved all the designs they did and at the time I was like I can't even imagine what they will create for Halloween next year it didn't even occur to me that they might do like some themed things you know like Beetlejuice or whatever but um so that was kind of crazy uh 
and I absolutely love the designs they came up with this year and it kind of makes me wonder what will they have next year <laughs> I am all about the Halloween stuff One drop in there. Oops. Oh no, I contaminated the pour. <laughs> Maybe two. Um but yeah, I I was I love Halloween and I am super super excited about Beetlejuice coming out. Are you guys Beetlejuice fans? Let me know in the comments below. Um I'm just like all about the Beetlejuice. I loved Beetlejuice when it came out and you know when I found out they were doing the remix I was like oh awesome you know there's a lot of remakes of like classic you know what I call classic from my childhood uh, movies and they're cashing in on that whole nostalgia factor oops oops um, for a lot of people and like I'm like one of those people that like you know for the most part like oh come can we get something new like where's the new stuff at you know <laughs> and then when something comes out that's very nostalgic I'm also the person that's like oh my gosh I can't believe it I gotta go see it so <laughs> I'm kind of like in both camps at the same time I need a little bit more of this resin Getting even layers is harder than it looks, y'all. It's a tough one. I'm getting it, though. <laughs> this one's going to be a little more mixed up looking, I think. Hear it. Now I love this light. Um, this is a 365 nm and it has a focus. Uh, it's rechargeable and it will do a wide beam and then a really skinny beam. So that's kind of nice for doing like specific things. Um, to kind of focus all that energy into one spot is great for doing mini verse. And I will have that linked in the description box below. If you're looking for a good light, this is a pretty good one. I like it. Okay, here are the sour worms. Um, I have just gotten the last layer of resin put on these. Super cute. Just did super thin layers. I think before I cure it, I'm going to try putting some of these little worms on there. Hold them in place. I had to show you these. These are so detailed. They look exactly like miniature gummy worms, sour gummy worms. With the little sparkle on them, and the color, and the shape, and even got the little ridges on some of them. So, very, very nicely done. I have realized that the eraser of a pencil does a really good job of packing this down. is going to be just a little bit looser just so I have uh, the ability to stick in <laughs> I need one of my little look how cute I love this packaging it is so kind of realistic and these little tombstone 
cookies are just chef's kiss. I mean, come on. They're so perfect. Amazing. Stick this one right in here. That's so great. Okay, I'm going to finish off the other one. Okay, you guys, those are just absolutely magical. I, I mean, come on. I shall perish from the cuteness. <laughs> I love these so much. <laughs> they just are so cool. Um, I want to just like kudos to miniverse on this one because dang you guys you knocked it out of the park with those those are so cute all the details are just stunning and amazingly done great designing great product love it so much all right let's move on to the next one okay so now we're moving on to the bug punch and it's that one right there and I think like the picture does not do justice to just how freaking cute these cups are. And the tray is just really cool. <laughs> I love, love the tray. It is so stinking cute. And then the little cups, the little skull cups, the fact that they sit inside the eye sockets for the tray. That's genius right there. That is a whole package of genius. I am here for that. <laughs> um, and then we've got our little whipped cream. And the fact that they gave you two different colors. And there's actually three in there. So you can use one for a remix if you want. The little bag of ice, which we know. The little gummy bugs are so gummy looking. Just... Just all the details and the packaging and how cute is that little candy bag. So cute. And we have our two little straws, two different colors. Love that. And our toxic green apple resin. Look how adorable that is. Love that packaging, that design on there. Just really good. 100% bubbly. Very nice. All right, so I guess we just need to get started. Um, here's the little box that the cups came in. Super cute. I'm going to use that for a display somehow. And so now I guess we'll just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to open up our ice and get it in our cups. I think I got a little bit of a mishap with one of the cups but once you get the stuff in there I won't even see that so I'm not too worried about it all right let's put our ice in there now we need some of our gummy bugs gummy bugs yeah I think I'm going to uh cut this open from the back so that I can keep the integrity of the bag intact for display purposes. Just open the back up. And look at all those little bugs in there. Oh my goodness. All the gummy bugs. love that it's so thin it actually comes out Just do a couple of drops in each one to let it soak down into that ice good these are so stinking adorable oh my gosh Oh, 
Like those exact. That's awesome. Oh, orange, orange twisty straws. <laughs> we all know straws. <laughs> I love it. Now, oh, we, like, now I'm gonna have to make bug punch thing. for Halloween. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Get our little stuffy stuffs in here. Um. I almost forgot about those, actually. Take this out for a moment. Put one of these in. Actually, I want to do opposites. Do purple straw with orange. Curing. Okay, here are the adorable little bug juice creations, and I absolutely love these little things. They're so adorable. Now, the ice does pretty much disappear when you put that super clear green resin in there, but if you have some at the top, you can, uh, um, you can see them a little bit as far as the shape of them and stuff, so... There's that, and all right, so let's uh, move on to the next one. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so now I'm moving on to the cake, and here is the cake. How cool is that? I love it. Well, let's get started. We have this amazing two-tiered cake, stripy on top, black on the bottom. We have this really super cute little cake stand. Very creepy. This, I love this little thing. That's pretty cool. And then also you have the cool green and black striped table. We've also got some uh, decorating bits. We got an icing web and we got some bats. They kind of stand up together. We have our sprinkles and our purple glaze. Super cool, goo stuff. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Let's make this awesome little cake. Oh my goodness, you guys, look how cute it is. Oh my gosh, this just makes my little Halloween heart so happy. <laughs> it's just so wonderful. I love all the detail. Oh my gosh, I am super excited. That is so, so cool. That's like a really great display. I love it. <laughs> all right, so, and of course, there's its table and everything together. Oh my gosh, it's so wonderful. Okay, now then, for the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> I tried to find this, and I tried to find it, and I tried to find it. I could not find one. Um, <laughs> so I ended up just uh, trading with someone in the Facebook group, uh, the mini miniature remix Facebook group, and... Um, 
I am very glad I did. I love this. It's going to be so awesome. Let me open this up and we'll take a look at all of the awesomeness inside. All right, so here we have the Sand Escape Desert. It includes Trey and Rake. Super cute. Take a look at that. I can figure out. Oh, it slides open. <laughs> cute. <laughs> All right, so here is our little tray and the little rake that goes with it. Has a little kind of a swirly cue kind of a thing here and look at all the little sandworms in the bottom <laughs> super cute oh my goodness very adorable there's that and now we have our little name tags you'll need one of those if you go to the afterworld afterlife the afterworld whatever you want to call it <laughs> the afterlife opinions from beyond until death do us part then what Oh my goodness, that is so wonderful. One way ticket to the great beyond, the dead art of drawing. Business and services. Caseworker theater. Searching for fulfillment in your afterlife? Volunteer as a caseworker today. <laughs> you don't want to be a caseworker, folks, because we know how they got there. <laughs> A living restaurant experience. Pasta away. Pasta away. Pasta away. <laughs> Do you miss the experience of visiting an Italian restaurant? Look no further. Goulash Dunzo. Oh. Goulash Dunzo. Spook Eddie. And Mortellini. <laughs> Dry cleaners, stock up now. Latest threads direct from the recently deceased. Pet collection, pest collection, looking to terrorize your living roomies. Pests of all kinds, roaches, bedbugs, maggots, fleas, rays, ticks, spiders, snakes, and hornets. Subscribe today, The Afterlife, the premier supplier of the news to the ghouls of the afterlife and the most interesting voices dying in the afterlife today. Subscribe today. Soul Train, Beetlejuice, Bio Exorcist. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. I love that. <laughs> Let's uh, look through our little thing here. So this is the Beetlejuice ball. And pretty simple instructions. Let's open this up. So I'm thinking there's a little something something that's supposed to be somewhere in this kind of thing. In this little doodaddy mawachu majigger. If I don't have my little number strip, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> well, I got that in that. I feel like the strip should be on top, but maybe it's in one of these. So we'll look through, see what we can find. So here is the table. Kind of a glittery, kind of granite looking table. Kind of looks like a tombstone. And here we have our two heads. I love the little pet sandworm box. That is genius. It is so awesome. I love it. The whole thing is freaking awesome. Look at there. It's even got some little yellow shreds. We got a little sandworm here. Oh my goodness, look how amazing that sandworm is. He's so awesome. We got the rest of his body there. Very, very cool. So I'm going to set him in here for the moment. Yes, and we'll open up these. Love the designs. Hear the dial tone. Don't let it go dead. Never trust the living. Dead. Deal, explain, attention, deliver. <laughs> Cute. All right. Okay, so this one is All Aboard the Soul Train, The Great Beyond, Pearly Gates, Beetlejuice, Afterlife, and Soul of the Party, Fires of Damnation, Elysium Fields, 
the 845 to the great beyond. I love it. It has like the little <laughs> details and stuff. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So cute. I decided to open these with you guys because, I mean, the de the details in the packaging are just insane. Okay, there is our door to the house from the sandworm. Knock three times in case of emergency. Door, no exit. <laughs> I love that. I actually just really love that as it is. Like is. I'm going to leave that door in that packaging because that just makes me so happy. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh my goodness. Oh, here it is. Oh, and there it is. There's my number. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I keep hitting the camera. Sorry, guys. Okay. Looky there. There's our number. We got to take a number and take a seat for some help. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. This little book. Oh, it's so cute. And book for the recently deceased press. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> It's so good. I really wish it had full, more pages in here, but I know it does have the title page. How stinking cute is that tiny little book? So all the other ones are not, don't have any writing or anything. Uh, it'd be a good little book for, you know, journaling or uh, kind of doing some little artwork or whatever inside the pages. But I mean, come on. I just, the coolest book. I love it. This is what I wanted it for more than anything. <laughs> this and the number. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> I'm just going to stick that in there so I don't lose it. <laughs> just that whole, that whole set right there. Oh my gosh. Which you guys cannot see. <laughs> All right. This is our last one right here, and this one is freaking awesome. The Afterlife Leading Bioexorcist Beetlejuice. Exercise your right to RIP. Got no guts? At a dead end? Call now. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Don't be a ghoul. Give Beetlejuice a call. <laughs> I love that advertisement for Beetlejuice, the Bio Exorcist. That is so cool. Check it out. Okay. Quit hitting the camera. All right. So here we go. We got our sandworm, uh, Saturn sand for sandworms. We've got our sand in there. And then we have our little rocks. Um, Set of two desert rocks, sandy scapes. Very, very cool. All right, so let's get it going. I'm gonna save these for another time. I just love the little packaging, it's so cool. It's great for scrapbooking and like junk journaling and stuff. If you do that, I'm saving mine for my Halloween junk journal. So let's uh, kind of put this together minus the door and we'll see how it is and then we're going to go on to our remixes and believe me you guys are going to want to stay tuned because i have some really cool ideas in mind so let's get to it okay so i just cut a little hole on the back here on that one side and just poured it in because i want to save this package i think it's so cool plus i don't want to dump out all that sand because i'm not going to keep it that way i just wanted to show you kind of what you what you do here Okay. And get these pushed up on there. Yep, 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 yep. Add our little sand wormy wormy worms there. And add that there. And then you have your little rake so you can create your awesome little patterns if you want to. A little Zen garden kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute. It's, I, I just, come on, love it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. But, um, uh, and then you have your little rocks too. You add your rocks. These are really good. These are made really well. 
they actually look like the kind of terrain that you would see in uh, in the movie so that's pretty cool I mean honestly it looks really neat I think if you wanted to, to be permanent and didn't want to worry about it like knocking and you know losing your pieces you could mix the yellow sand with some clear resin and put it in um, I don't know that I would use UV resin but maybe like an epoxy resin so that it will actually cure all the way um, but I am going to do something else with my sandworm so let's move on to that I just come on you guys this whole stinking set they just killed it they killed it like absolutely killed it like nailed it <laughs> how cool is that I love it all right let's move on to our two remixes <laughs> okay so now I'm going to move on to my remix uh, I do have an extra cake so I'm going to be using that uh, I'm not I don't think I'm going to be using the spider web from the cake so I'm going to set it to the side not 100% sure uh, the little bats I'll be using the rocks from the sandworm obviously the sandworm as well the little cake plate and one of the little um, uh, skull cups from the bug juice um, I'm not sure if that's all I'm going to be using but that's where I'm at right now <laughs> Let's get started. This one, this one, I'm just gonna make it. I probably speed it up. So keep an eye out. Thanks for watching. So I did use the packaging that the cake came in and that's, I'm gonna use that as my bottom layer. And now I'm just going to add some little green blobs of paint. I'm using kind of a bright green and a dark green just to add a little bit of detail. Once that's dry, then I can paint in the white so that it kind of fills in all of the empty spaces. So now I'm just going to take a Sharpie marker and I'm going to make a little bit of details on these raised areas. There's some little dots around here. I'm just going every other one to kind of create a stripey effect. Once again, I'm just using my Sharpie to create some details on the bottom of this cake layer. And then I'm taking it to the bug punch cups and adding in the dark in the eyes and all the details of the cup and then I took a little bit of white paint and added some highlights. I glued the cakes together to create three layers and then I took the um, the juice from the bug punch and put it in a little container and I'm adding the very tiniest amount of acrylic paint to this. You don't want to add too much because it won't cure if you get it too opaque. But this is just kind of, I, I didn't want it to be super clear and I wanted it to have a little bit more pigment. So I added a little bit of that bright green and a little touch of the dark green just to make it a little bit darker. It's still translucent, but not quite as much as it was before. I'm adding this top layer so that I can set my cup down on top. Now that it's cured, I'm hot gluing the parts of the sandworm onto the sides. And that after that is done, I will add some resin around the edges to really secure it. The hot glue is not really enough just to uh, put on there because those will pull off fairly easily. It's not a great adhesive for that. But once I seal it in with the resin, it's going to stay for good. <laughs>
Next, I'm just going to hot glue the cake stand on top of the skull mug to create the hat. And then I took some uh, heavy cardstock and cut it in a circle, cut that circle in half, and then uh, rolled it up to create a little cone hat, kind of party hat. And then I can take my Sharpie and create the lines to create kind of like the top of the big top tent, kind of like his hat has in the original movie. <laughs> uh, I think this turned out really cute. <laughs> Now I'm just adding a few final details, some drips on that top tier of cake. So I cut the Beetlejuice uh, logo out of the um, instruction booklet. It had a two of them on there and I glued it to the hat. And I also added one of the little ghosties from the uh, capsule on there and just cut off the bottom prongs and glued it to the top of the hat and now I'm just cutting apart the little bat topper for the cake so that I'll have three little bats I folded some tape over and uh, left one end sticky and cut it into little strips that I can stick on in three different places evenly spaced on the bottom of the cake stand and then I'm taking my little bats that I cut apart and I'm hot gluing them uh, in even spacing onto those little strips of, of tape. And then I can cut off the excess and then I've created the little carousel hat for Beetlejuice, which I absolutely love. <laughs> Now I took some paper and I created these little strips. I just folded them over, uh, tri-folded them and glued them together. I uh, used my Sharpie marker to create the little lines and I thought about putting them on the cake somehow, maybe underneath it, but it didn't really, didn't really look right to me. It kind of looked like he had feet. Um, so I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna use these, but I did decide to um, glue them on the bottom of the table instead. So I'm going to get to my last remix. I just took a dollar store um, glass bottle. You can buy these in the craft store at the um, Dollar Tree. Uh, I'm going to use the leftover resin that I mixed up for the Beetlejuice. I'm going to kind of create a little kind of a bug potion here. I'm going to use this and then I'm going to put in some of the leftover. I had a couple of little leftover bugs from the bug punch. And so I'm going to put those down in there as well. And then I'm going to add this little topper. So the little topper that comes with the capsule with the prongs, it snaps into one of these little bottles like perfectly. Like it snaps in and once it's snapped in, it's not coming out. So I'm going to warn you guys now. Um, <laughs> when you put it in, that better be the last thing you're going to do. And it takes some force to push it down in there. But then it snaps in and it does not come out. So you got a cute little topper for a little potion. And it's really adorable. Plus these are glow in the dark. So those are going to glow if they're sitting on your shelf. Okay, so here are all of the Halloween creations, including Beetlejuice himself. I love how Beetlejuice turned out. I've got my dirt cups and my bug punch and my awesome Halloween cake that I absolutely, absolutely adore. <laughs> and Beetlejuice, oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys will have to excuse the mess. I am working on uh, some Halloween things for a show I'm fixing to do. Uh, but yeah, here are the creations. Oh my gosh, thank you so much you guys for watching. I know this has been a long one. Hopefully you enjoyed the remixes. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. So hit that like button and that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!